And a very good evening to you. Sitting on the verge of the playoffs, this could be one of the toughest tests yet this season for Tunbridge. Opponents, Chelmsford, have won their last five games and start the match fourth in the National League South. They make three changes from their last game. In come Kai Yearn, Tom Blackwell and Cameron James with Ludovica, Ochieng and Yula dropping out. The man to watch, Simeon Jackson, number 10, who's played in the Premier League for Norwich City. Eight goals for him this season. Well, looking at the Tunbridge side, two changes. Dylan Gavin is up front rather than Louis Collins. And with Jaden Crowhurst's loan spell at South End ending, he's gone back to his parent club. Tariq Hines comes in for his debut. And number 10, Nathan Wood, is a new signing from Faversham Town. So it's Chelmsford on the early attack here with the number two, Cameron James. That's Yearn. Back to James with the shot. And it's straight at Johnny Henley. But a lively start there for the visitors. Hines into Ruben Suarez Jr. Little ball in from him towards the far post. Header in from Turner. It was on target. Really good header. Met by Joe Turner at the far post. And well collected by the goalkeeper, Ed Jahiri. Chelmsford again on the attack. And it comes for Jackson. Oh, surely he'll score. Great save by Johnny Henley with his legs. Jackson will think he should do better. But that was a good opportunity for him. And there's a cross coming in from the left-hand side for Chelmsford. And the number 17, Vaz. And it goes over to the right-hand side to Barnum Bob. He gets his ball in. And it's behind for a goal kick. There's Chelmsford again going forward with Ruff. Picked up there by Santos to Wagstaff. Jeremy Santos now going forward. Such pace from him. He's got options available. He lays it off there to Suarez Jr. on the right-hand side. One ball in from him. It comes free. It's Santos with a chance. Santos scores for Tunbridge. He started the move in his own half. Some lovely play again. And he's the man who finishes it. 13 minutes gone. Tunbridge 1. Chelsea City nil. It was such a well-worked move. Lovely ball in from Ruben Suarez Jr. And it fell to Santos. 12 yards out on the penalty spot. Gave the goalkeeper no chance. Right into the top of the net. And Tunbridge to the side who take the lead. Free kick coming in there from Chelmsford. Well dealt with there by Sonny Miles who clears the ball away. Is he going to go for a throw? They're going to keep it in. Even better than that. Tunbridge win it back on the left-hand side. Santos with the ball to Turner. Back up the field there towards Jeremy Santos. Can he double his tally in the game so far? Goes towards goal. Final in from distance. Only just wide. Doesn't mind having a shot, does he? What an effort that was. So a Chelmsford corner now from the right-hand side. Tomich do well to get it away there. It was a lure with a header in, but the danger is not over. This looks like it's going to be a ball coming in from the right-hand side with the uh, left foot. Instead, it's laid off there towards Yearn. Plays the ball back into the area. There's a head on it, and it's defended there by Craig Bray and Barrett. Chums would feel perhaps they could have had more than a corner. Maybe a penalty they're appealing for, for a foul on Simeon Jackson. Referee says corner. Let's just have a look at it once more. Oh, did they have something? Was his arm grabbed? Was he shoved? Well, it doesn't matter. The referee hasn't given it. Faz from the left-hand side. Decent header. Charlie Ruff at the near post. Really good first half. Are we going to have as good a second half, I wonder? Ruff plays the ball out to the left-hand side. Lovely ball in. Oh, ho, ho. that very, very nearly hit the man running in there towards the far post. Blackwell trying to get a little bit of space from Hines. Down the left-hand side, gets it in, gets a header in. Joe Turner is back defending. Gurn goes down, and Turner winning possession back there for Tunbridge. Here's Santos again. His options are Collins, and he feeds a lovely ball in for Collins. We've got a chance here, Dylan Gavin. Gavin just on the edge of the box, but it's going to be cleared away there by uh, Chelmsford. Ball in there, a lot of Vika, a lot of height there in the area, but Tunbridge are dealing with it there with... Uh, Bray and Barrett turns to bring the ball forward. Collins on as a sub there towards Joe Turner. Turner out wide to the right-hand side. Could be a chance for now for Suarez Jr. Cuts inside left foot and it's blocked by Winfield. The supporters think it hit his hand. But the referee, to be fair, the Tunbridge players as well, not really giving much in terms of an appeal. But Chelmsford now going forward again on the left-hand side. 
ball in. Looking for the head of Ludovica, but it's going to be taken there by Johnny Henley, the Tunbridge goalkeeper. Nice ball there. And it's Santos now. Is he going to have a go? He is! Oh, and he just wide. That would have been one of the goals of the decade there from Santos if he'd scored that. Well, Pele did that in the World Cup in 1970. They play it all the time now. He enjoyed that, even though it didn't go in. The third of five minutes of stoppage time. It's ten. So Tommy's going to get a second. It's played through to Collins. Collins with a chance to kill the game off. But he's into the path of Turner with a shot. Oh, great save. It was on target. Hedgeheri stops that from being two. Time running out for Chelmsford. Tommy's done very well to hold out this 1-0 lead. Chelmsford have brought their A game today. Going down the left-hand side there. What can they do with this one? Last chance for them. Goes into the area. Oh, it's Barnum Bob who miss kicks his shot. And it goes out of play. We're still playing. Five minutes was uh, indicated. This is the end of the sixth minute of them. And there goes the whistle. What a win from Tunbridge. It may have only been 1-0, but that was a sensational game. I would say it's been an absolute privilege to be here tonight. Both sides excellent. A great advert for this level of the football. And this game will live in the memory for a very long time to come. And as regards to the result, it's another three points for the Angels.